Hey there, Nortel administrators or technicians. You want to get into your BCM50, but you don't know the IP address. Well, you can set it manually. Let's show you how. All right, you will need either a 7316, a 7324, a 7310, any phone where you can do the administrative programming. Uh, we'll need feature nine star eight, and then you'll be prompted for user ID. That's going to be the Telset ID, which is the default is uh, seven uh, three eight six six two. So seven three eight six six two, and hit OK. And then your password is the usual two six six three four four, assuming that hasn't been changed. Then once you get in here, you'll see a few different things. What we want to do is hit next until we see IP uh, address. All right, so there where you see IP address, hit OK, and then you can change it. And uh, there's two things you can do. One is you can set, you can have DHCP left as disabled, and then you can set the IP address manually. Or if you hit the ENL, it will enable the DHCP, and it will need a reboot. Um, but once you do that, then it'll just get an IP address automatically from the uh, router. The only problem with that is, is you still won't know what it is until you come in here and look. So if you want to set it manually, click on IP. And then what you do is you hit change. And when you type in the address, what you want to do is I'll hit change. Is you, you use the numbers on the number pad, but when you need a dot in between the octets, you'll need to use the star key. So for instance, if I do like 192 star one six eight star one star two forty eight and then press OK uh, and then it goes to your subnet mask you do the same thing for your subnet mask and then once you're done with that hit next and you should see default gateway um, you'll want to set that uh, to whatever the, the router's default gateway is or whatever the router address is and then once you're done with that it brings you back to the same the first screen just hit the back key and um, oh I apologize even if you set it manually you still have to do a restart so either way you're gonna have to restart the BCM so you'll need a, a change window with your users to be able to restart it okay so then you go ahead and say yes and then it will you'll ask are you sure you say yes and then it will reboot the BCM and then your new static IP or DHCP IP address will be enabled Hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.